Armor, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for that nightlight set of Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 through 13. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand. Armor is absolutely essential. Uh, during an al-Qaeda terrorist raid Anbar, in Anbar province in Iraq in 2007, Navy SEAL Douglas Day was shot multiple times. But he had ceramic plated body armor on. It stopped 11 shots that were fired at him. He later described it as like being hit with a sledgehammer. Despite several injuries he sustained, Day continued to fight and helped his squad members until the battle was won. The citation for the Silver Star Medal reads, His decisive leadership and mental clarity in the face of his injuries ensured the success of the mission. If Chief Petty Officer Day had gone into battle without his body armor, he would have never survived. Every day, you and I face a spiritual warfare. It's a battleground, not a playground. One of the things that as a pastor I tried to pound into my people is the understanding that this is we're playing for keeps in this warfare. And you're, you've got three enemies arrayed against you. The world, the world system that is out there, all that it does is tries to squeeze you into its mold. You have the devil, Satan, and the tempter, the, the temptations that he brings, the doubts that he puts on you, the division that he causes. You, you have your flesh, which is an enemy that you have to fight as well. The old impulses that perhaps had years of habit behind them. And if you're going to win that spiritual warfare on three different fronts, you better be armored up with the spiritual armor of God. You need the belt of truth on you. You need the helmet of salvation, a no-so real deal salvation. You need the breastplate of righteousness. You need to be doing right, living right, talking right, saying right, thinking right. Righteousness is absolutely essential. You need to have the sword of the Spirit to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. When Satan launches an all-out satanic demonic assault against you, you need to have the, the shield of faith to be able to quench those fiery darts. If you're going to make it, get your shield on. You need to have the, the shoes shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You need to be taking the gospel good news everywhere. It's the power that shatters the bondage of sin in your friends and your family members. Have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Have the sword of the spirit, the Bible. Know it. Get it inside of you. Memorize it. Meditate on it. Study it. Read it. Become intimately familiar with the absolute, infallible Word of God, settled forever in heaven, always accomplishing the purposes whereunto God has sent it. It is seed to the sower, bread to the eater. It is God's powerful Word for you, living, quick, and powerful. If you're going to suit up with this armor, you'll be able to stand in the battle against the world, the flesh, and the devil. You don't put it on, you're a goner. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I pray that we'd be wise enough to wear the body armor that you've provided for us. Every day, let us move towards truth and righteousness, faith, and, and sharing, sharing our faith with others. Help us to God to have a no-so salvation and a defensive shield. Grant us your strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.